you know what, this time I'm not clicking hide because then I can't figure out how to turn the darn thing off. It's embarrassing. So let's see how this works. Okay, the nitrogen cycle. Now this one's a little bit complicated. So, so you might wanna like watch this video and you may wanna look over the this notes of, without me talking, but um, I definitely need you to learn these steps and it's a, a little bit tricky. Maybe you learned it in biology, I don't know. Let's just get going with it here, okay. Uh, so the nitrogen cycle is basically what it says. It's, it's, it's the process by which uh, nitrogen cycles between the atmosphere and the soil and water and living organisms. So the thing about nitrogen is, it is a really, really important atom because it is basically a component of you know, amino acids, proteins, chlorophyll, DNA, the stuff that life is made out of. And so you, know, you can't grow an organism, you can't make cells if you don't have enough nitrogen. So in many cases, it is the limiting factor that prevents production from happening. So you can't get plant growth and therefore you can't support all the life in an ecosystem if you don't have enough nitrogen to do it with. So let's just look at how it happens. And as I said, it's a little bit tricky. So let's work our way through this. Okay, let's just start with this. Nitrogen is not at all rare. I mean, like 80% almost of every breath you've ever taken was nitrogen. But the thing about nitrogen is it's inert. And the reason it's inert is because there's a triple bond between the, between this, is in two. So you've got these triple bonds that hold these molecules together, these two atoms in the molecule together, and it's really difficult to break. So plants cannot directly access it. You know, we can, we can breathe in oxygen and break those double bonds and use the oxygen, but we breathe in nitrogen, we can't do anything with it. And same thing for plants. But uh, there is a way. So the nitrogen cycle, and you look at it, it looks a little bit complex here. The nitrogen cycle is the process by which the N2 molecules in the air, just pure nitrogen in the air, is converted into different nitrogen compounds in the soil and the water, and then flowing through different life forms until it is re-released back into the atmosphere, once again, as N2. So it, it closes the cycle. Uh, and so let's just, let's just look at how this happens, okay? These are the steps I need you to learn, guys. Okay, ready? So the nitrogen cycle consists of these five steps. There is fixation in which N2 becomes nitrogen compounds, mostly ammonia or ammonium, okay? Then there's a process called nitrification in which uh, ammonia, NH3, gets converted into nitrate ions, which are more easily absor absorbed by a plant. Then there's assimilation in which the nitrogen that got absorbed in the form mostly of nitrate uh, is used to make, you know, chlorophyll, amino acids, proteins, DNA, all right? So life, okay? So the nitrogen gets assimilated to the, into, into the, the biological aspect of the, the, the biotic factors in, a, in an ecosystem. Then what happens is, uh, you know, uh, if you've ever, uh, seen like where a dog goes to the bathroom, uh, you'll, you'll notice that the, the soil grows really well. For a long time, you know, farmers have known if you just take uh, the poop from horses and cows and goats, whatever, and put it in your garden, your garden grows better. And the reason is there's a lot of nitrogen in there. And ammonification is the process by which the nitrogen compounds that are present in feces, in urine, and in dead uh, animals and plant material uh, are, are returned to uh, a, a form that can be, well, they're basically confirmed into ammonia. Uh, and then ammonia can then go back into the nitrification part of this. And then there's a process called denitrification in which nitrate ions, which could have been used by a plant, get converted back into N2 and go back into the atmosphere. So let's get on it here, okay? Nitrogen fixation, first step in the process. We start with N2 in the atmosphere. Now. There are three ways in which this N2 molecule in the atmosphere can be broken and then turn into something that's usable, all right? So generally speaking, we're gonna break that molecule apart and then we're gonna connect it to either hydrogen or oxygen uh, to form either nitrate or nitrite or ammonia or ammonia, okay? Now, here's how it happens. It can happen directly from lightning. A lightning strike, it ionizes this nitrogen and that nitrogen reacts with oxygen in the air. That's one way it can happen. Another way it can be biological. There's a lot of bacteria in the soil that have the ability to break down into and then and then react it with oxygen or hydrogen as a way of, of extracting energy. Uh, and then it's industrial. You know, people don't know how to make this stuff. Many through a process called the Haber process. 
Oh yeah, so lightning splits the molecules, reacts with atmospheric oxygen, forming nitrate ions, uh, NO3, with a negative one charge. Those get carried to the soil where they can be used directly by plants, uh, but that's like 8% of the nitrate that's out there is coming from lightning. You know, and this, and depending on where you live, there, there may not be a whole lot of lightning. Uh, so there, there's another way, fortunately. And that way is, is uh, through nitrogen fixing bacteria. So in the soil, there are bacterium, uh, a number of them, that are capable of essentially uh, metabolizing nitrogen, reacting nitrogen with oxygen and hydrogen in order to release energy through chemosynthesis. And, uh, and this process then uh, turns nitrogen from into, into uh, other forms that are, are usable uh, by plants. Now, now some plants like legumes, that beans or or clover, they'll have these nodules, and these nodules are basically a symbiotic relationship between the plant, and inside these nodules are a lot of these bacteria that are good at nitrogen fixation. And basically, what they're going to do is these 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 bacteria are going to convert into into ammonia. Now, ammonia is not exactly great for plants. It's, it's a caustic chemical. It's you know it can hurt. It can kill you if you breathe it in. Actually, uh, but that's what happens during fixation. The thing, the big takeaway is bacteria, which are also present in some plant roots, convert into, into NH3, otherwise known as ammonia. Not ammonium, ammonia. Okay, now, uh, these nitrogen-fixing bacteria, they have these proteins. These proteins basically act as catalysts that lets them turn into ammonia. It can also make ammonium. Now, ammonium can be uh, directly used by plants, but ammonia has to be... Uh, uh, altered in order to be used by plants. So before a plant can access uh, the nitrogen in this form, it must go through, the ammonia must go through a process called nitrification. And nitrification is gonna convert this into nitrate ions in a two-step process. Let's get on it. Nitrification is a process by which aerobic bacteria, that means ones that breathe oxygen in the soil, are able to convert NH3 into nitrate ions. And here's how it works. So there's, there's, there's lots of different bacteria, and you don't have to know all the different bacteria, okay? You can read about it if you want, but here's the deal. You start off with ammonia, which is, again, like I said, it's not particularly great for plants. You react it with oxygen in the, inside the bacteria, and what you end up with is nitrate ions, hydrogen ions, which basically, if you recall, makes things acidic, and water molecules. Now, that's what one, one type of bacteria do. Now, another bacteria will take this product and then it will take it and it will further react with more oxygen, turning it into nitrate ions. And then these nitrate ions can then be used by plants. So basically, it's a two-step process. Nitrification basically starts with ammonia, reacts with oxygen to make nitrite, which is NO2. And then the nitrite reacts in another bacteria with oxygen to form nitrate, which is NO3. And this NO3, that's the sweet stuff the plants really like, man. They get that stuff and they can, they're can they off and running. Assimilation is just what it sounds like. Once I have NO3 or NH4, I have these, these ionic nitrogen compounds that are easily absorbed by plants, then these ones can be used to make amino acids, chlorophyll, DNA, you know, all proteins, all that stuff, okay? Uh, now, the thing that's worth noting here is though that although plants are able to take these, these nitrogen compounds and assimilate them into amino acids and proteins and things like that, animals can't do that. We, just like we can't undergo photosynthesis and make our own food, Animals are not able to assimilate nitrogen compounds to make, you know, amino acids. So, so we rely on plants to do it for us. Man, those plants really come in handy, don't they? Thank you, plants. Now, uh, nitrogen is present in animal waste. It's present in all living tissues. So when things, uh, you know, when when things drop feces, when they release urine, uh, when they uh, die. The, the, the nitrogen compounds that are present there can be returned to the soil or the water uh, as ammonia in a process known as ammonification. So uh, ammonification, basically, there are bacteria that are able to break down these nitrogen-bearing compounds and turn them into ammonia, and in some cases, ammonium. Now, the ammonium can be used directly by a, a plant, but ammonia must go through that a nitrification process if it's going to be used. 
Then there's denitrification. So denitrification is there's a, yet another kind of bacteria that live in soil. And what these ones do is these are anaerobes. So remember, anaerobes are ones that don't require any uh, like free oxygen to, to, to operate. Instead, what they do is they have a method of using enzymes to break this apart, releasing energy, and converting this back into this. And then this, being inert, doesn't really stick to anything, and it just leaks out of the ground back into the atmosphere, completing the cycle. So it's a little bit of a complex cycle here. Let's just take a look at it, okay? All right, I like this diagram a lot. We start off with atmospheric nitrogen. Now, either lightning can cause us to be to get nitrate directly, right? Or what can happen is bacteria in the soil, also in the nodules of, of certain legumes or clovers, these nitrogen-fixing bacteria, what they're going to do is they're going to take this and they're going to turn it uh, into ammonia, all right? And then what's going to happen is that ammonia, oh, see that thing got me there, darn it, is, is basically nitrification is going to happen, turning ammonia into nitrates. Okay, don't let this confuse it. That's coming from here, okay? Uh, so basically, we're, we're capturing the nitrogen through nitrogen-fixing bacteria, turning into ammonia, NH3. The NH3 is going through the nitrification process. Remember, that's two-step process, first to NO2, then to NO, well, here's the NO2. The other bacteria are going to take it and turn it into NO3. Now, once it's in the form of NO3, it can either do this. It can go assimilate into a plant, and from the plant, go into another animal, uh, or you can have denitrifying bacteria that will then take this NO3, turning it back into oxygen and nitrogen, and the nitrogen goes back into the atmosphere. Now, when the plants die, or the rabbit dies, or the rabbit uh, releases urine or feces, these, these materials have nitrogen in them, and these nitrogens get then broken down by both aerobic and anaerobic bacteria, fungi, and stuff, and turn into ammonium. And then that ammonium can go through this process. Some of it can go directly back and be assimilated, and some will go through the same process and get turned into nitrates. And there's another diagram. Like I like this one because it's got fun pictures. But here, for those of you who are more like engineering oriented, it's basically the same thing here, just shown as a basic flow chart. All right, guys. So that's that's uh, the nitrogen cycle. Uh, it's you know it's approachable. So I think you guys will figure it out. All right. Talk to you later. Hopefully now if I just hit here.